primary election is next month, August 13th. So this week, we're getting to know some of the leading Democratic candidates for governor. And joining us this morning is U.S. Representative Kai Kahele. Aloha, good morning. Aloha, thanks for joining us. Aloha for having me. First of all, first question, why are you running for governor? So thanks for the question. Um, I really believe, Christine, that our state is at a crossroads, that we are at an inflection point, and that the challenges that face the state today and over the next decade require a type of leader that can bring people together, who can make bold, courageous, and decisive decisions. And I believe I am that leader. My four years in the Hawaii State Senate, my 22 years as an officer in the Hawaii Air National Guard, my two years in the United States Congress, will bring the type of experience and skill set and qualities that this state needs to address the toughest challenges that it faces, whether it's affordable housing, climate, energy, public education, the cost of living. Um, these are things that the next governor will have to address. And um, I'm hoping I can earn uh, the support of the people of Hawaii over the next month. You know, the primary election is in a month from now. It is. So a this month is a big, now. this is a big day for us, and I really mahalo Kei Chuan for having this debate tonight. Now you mentioned several challenges just now. What do you think is the biggest challenge or biggest issue Hawaii is facing, and how do you plan to solve it? For me, a foundational piece of my campaign is campaign finance and election reform. We are seeing right now a historic. Um, level and unprecedented level of indictments and convictions of elected officials and civil servants and that has to change. We've talked about getting money out of politics for years and no one has been able to do it. I'm trying to run a grassroots people-powered campaign and to do what no candidate for governor has ever done in the history of this state. Run for the highest office in this state without accepting more than a hundred dollars from any individual. Um, and, and it's an amazing journey that we're on right now. And what we are seeing across the state uh, is people are resonating with our message. They are donating a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars, no more than a hundred dollars. And that is dramatically different from my opponents who are taking hundreds of thousands of dollars of corporate money, of outside mainland money, of money from the pharmaceutical industry, of the fossil fuel industry. And that has to change, whether it's at the state level or the national level. And in addition to attempting to demonstrate that you can win this way, I'm also proposing 10 of the most bold campaign finance and election reform policies in the history of this state. And as governor, I will submit that package to the 2023 legislature as part of my governor's package. And then finally, why should voters, local residents, vote for you? We need a bold, decisive, courageous leader for this state. What we don't need is someone who's indecisive, who can't make a decision, who panders to both sides. That's something that uh, I believe differentiates me from my opponents. You know, I've been in the Air National Guard for the last 22 years, deployed to Iraq, deployed to Afghanistan. I've, I've um, grown as a military officer, and I believe I have the skill sets to lead this state. No candidate um, besides myself has any federal experience or has walked the halls of Washington, D.C. I bring that back and a value add to the office of the governor. Served for four years in the Hawaii State Senate. You know, I'm not a career politician. I'm an airline pilot. Everybody knows I'm a Hawaiian Airlines pilot and a military combat pilot. You know, I decided to um, seek uh, an opportunity to serve in public office you know, when my dad passed away in 2016. Uh, and it's been an incredible journey. I never thought uh, when Governor Ige uh, appointed me to the Hawaii State Senate and gave me the opportunity and my family the opportunity to fulfill my dad's last dying wish that I would ever be here sitting here right now with you a month out from the uh, uh, gubernatorial race and running for uh, governor of Hawaii. But I believe where, where I am at in my life today, I'm 48 years old, um, blessed to have three beautiful daughters, my wife Maria, who's a Hawaiian Airlines flight attendant, um, and, and I believe in my heart that this is what this state needs right now. And I'm willing to put my entire political career online to do it and, and to be the change that we need, which is why my you know, website is HawaiiNotForSale.com. And we're doing a $100 grassroots campaign across the state. And what you're going to see tomorrow night when candidates across the state file um, their, their campaign you know, finance reports, you're going to see campaign war chests of millions of dollars for my opponents. And what you're going to see from our campaign is small dollar grassroots donations. And so I'm so excited to be running and I really appreciate the opportunity um, to share my strategic vision for the state and what I believe together we can do to move this uh, state forward together.
And just a reminder, as we've been mentioning, KHON2 will be hosting a debate featuring the candidates in the race for governor. That will be airing tonight at 7 p.m. on KHI and then 9 p.m. on KHON2. If you have a question for the candidates, email debate at KHON2.com. And U.S. Representative Kai Kahele, thanks so much for stopping Mahalo. by. Have a great day. You too.